Hi, I'm Erica, and today I'm going to show you how to pack a grain bowl into a bento box. Um, so an easy thing to do for dinner that actually turns out being pretty healthy is a grain bowl, which is where you have a base that's your grain, like quinoa or rice or barley, and then you have a bunch of vegetables, maybe you have meat in there or something, but you put it all in a bowl and mix it all together. Super delicious. So I made one the other night that was, I don't know, the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> it was a uh, quinoa with this cilantro dressing, um, black beans, sweet potatoes, a bunch of other vegetables, and it was so delicious that I didn't want to do the thing that I usually do, which is mix it all together and make a salad. I wanted to preserve the individual components and kind of be able to pick and choose what I wanted to eat. Also, it looks better that way. So, I'm going to show you how to pack that. Um, this is a good one to show how to pack because the way that I do it, you kind of have to have the box upright. So this is the bottom tier of my bento box. I'm going to start with the grain. By the way, I'm not going to show you how to make this. It's all individual components. I've showed videos for how to make quinoa, how to roast vegetables. Um, the only things you'll need to do, I'm going to post the link in the about of this video so you can click on it and go there. Um, it's also, you can kind of do whatever you want. If you have a grain, you have some, maybe you have meat or maybe tofu. Um, I used black beans for my protein in addition to the quinoa. So I'll kind of rattle off those things as I add them to my bento box. I have it all spread out here, um, all ready to go because it makes it real easy to just pack it in and be done. So I'm going to start with my quinoa. I made, this is actually, it's tricolor quinoa in a cilantro dressing. So that recipe is in the link. Um, it is so good, you guys. If you don't eat cilantro because it tastes like soap to you, that's fine. You can make something else. I would do, probably for this one, it's a little southwesty. So I would do like a, like a lime juice dressing, maybe some lime juice and, and olive oil would be good. Um, something like that. So anyway, I'm gonna use my tiny spatula and put this in the bottom, about like a serving of it, which I guess would be like between a quarter of a cup and a half a cup. I'll try to show this a little bit better here. Oh yeah, if I get closer to the camera, that's helpful. Okay, I'm still figuring it out, you guys. Real low, low, low budget over here. All right. So my the top tier sits about right there, so I try to pack it in as tightly as I can. Rice works really well for this. You could use barley. Uh, my friend, shout out to my friend Lizzie who's allergic to quinoa and ve vegan, which must be the worst. So she's gonna use brown rice. That would be another good base for it. All right, so I have actually I have quite a bit of quinoa in there. That's a good to have um, most of your, have it be like most of your base. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take, my dog is chewing on the phone very loudly. So I hope that's not bothering anyone. Um, so I'm gonna take my black beans. I cooked them in their, the sauce they came in in the can because I did not do them by, by hand. Um, I don't have time for that. Or for technical difficulties. And we're back. Um, so I have this and I'm gonna use a fork because my slotted spoon is really big. So I'm just gonna get those. Um, it's just, it's beans cooked in their liquid with uh, some cumin and some chili powder. I don't think I had chili powder, so I used uh, cayenne pepper because why not? So this gets a little messy, but what I'm doing is basically stacking it on top of the quinoa. So that's enough beans. Next, I wanna do sweet potatoes. See how I've got this like layer system going? That's what you're wanna, gonna wanna go for, which I found to be the easiest. So I'm gonna go to my sweet potatoes. It's a little harder to show than I thought it might be, you guys. So I'm gonna do my sweet potatoes next. And these are the three main components, so I'm gonna take up most of the box with these, because I don't need to fill half a box with feta cheese. So I'm just stacking them on top. Oh, they've fallen. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Okay. So I'm gonna pack those in and just wedge them in nice and tight. Got my three things going. The next thing I'm gonna do is my cherry tomatoes. I've already halved them, so I'm just gonna use my hands like an animal, put them in. That's okay, I washed them. 
Somebody left some comments about how I wear my hair down and then I touch my face and I touch the food. And I understand that, but I am ServeSafe certified, number one. And number two, I'm the only one eating this. So if anybody gets sick, it's gonna be me. Sorry, I felt gross. Um, here we go. And the last thing I put it, not the last thing, one of the last things that I'm gonna add is some feta cheese. This is also a little difficult to add, but I'm gonna try to use my spatula. So I'm gonna do some feta cheese up here in the top. Again, just like layering it on in there. You don't have to do the cheese if you wanna keep it vegan. Fine by me. And then the other thing, hold. Pumpkin seeds. So I roasted these, I bought them raw from Trader Joe's, whatever, and I roasted them, and they make such a nice crunchy addition. Okay, so by now I've laid the box down, because it's not gonna help me to have it upright. Um, but there's a little space on the end. I'm just gonna drop <laughs> some pepitas in there, and then get some on the floor while I'm at it. All good. We are good. Okay, so my, hold. So the bottom tier of my box is done. And for the top tier, I'm going to do something I don't usually do. Um, if you watch my videos, which I assume you have, because you're here for this, um, you will notice I usually do some peanut butter cups, which are gonna make the cut this time. And I do some walnuts, so I'm gonna do my walnuts. But I usually fill it with berries, um, but I don't want that. So I did that today, and it was a little bit too much food, and I didn't, like, I wound up just kind of eating them throughout the day which was fine, but I want something that I can add to this grain bowl and that's like my thing. So I'm gonna do half an avocado. Um, might not keep very well, might get blackened on the top, but what I'm gonna do to try to um, combat that, or combat, I don't know, what do you really wanna say? I'm gonna do, <laughs> that's not important at all. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon juice on top. Fun fact, we have a lemon tree and it produced so many lemons that I have a giant jug of this in my fridge. So I'm gonna rub some lemon juice on the top of this to help it from browning and oxidizing. It may or not, may not work, but if it gets brown, I'll just scrape off the top layer. And then tomorrow at work, I'll cut it up into pieces and throw it in the bowl with everything else. Um, I, have a, I have access to paper, paper plates, paper bowls at work, and that's what I usually do. I'll dump it in there and mix it together, but you can just eat it out of the uh, out of the bowl. So I've got my top tier, my walnuts and my things, and I'm just gonna put the lemon juice on top, and then I've got plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. Me can say words. And I'm just gonna place it gently and tightly over my uh, my little avocado here. So yeah, I don't know, may or may not work. You could try, I've had the most success with using like a little Ziploc snack bag. You know, I might actually do that. Oh, you guys are gonna see some magic here. This video is going on a lot longer than I thought it might. Um, so this is how I've had the best luck and I'm just gonna do this. I try not to use stuff that I'm gonna throw away in my bento box, but what are you gonna do? When you want an avocado, you want an avocado. So I've got these little snack bags. I put this in there, seal it up. This is the embarrassing part. So I leave like, I seal it up and then I leave like a little bit here and then suction out the air. So I don't know, maybe I don't want you to watch me do this. And then seal it off. So I've made like a little vacuum seal pack um, sometimes you have to do it like twice to get it to do to do it really good. Okay, so I kind of vacuum sealed that. So you can fold that over and I'm gonna place it in my bento box. It is not ideal to do that, but if you must, you must. So I've got a little bit of extra room on the sides and I'm just going to, yeah. It's not the prettiest, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, and I'm just gonna fill that with some raspberries because I know I'll eat those. They're just so tasty, my one weakness. All right, so that's my top chair. Let me show you guys what I got now. 
So this is my super delicious grain bowl in a bento box. Um, like I said, you can just dig in there with a fork uh, if you don't have access to a bowl or you can put it in a transfer it to a paper bowl or, or uh, whatever for lunch and mix it all up and eat it. But anyway, I like how this looks better than a salad and I feel like preserving uh, and storing the individual components separately makes them last a little bit longer and a little less soggier than a, in a salad form. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for bearing with me during my embarrassing times and technical difficulties and the dogs barking or whatever. But you know what? That's life. We keep it real. Keep it 100 around here. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, I reply to almost everything that I can. Um, I can only reply if you subscribe. So if subscribe to me and then I will write back to you if you have questions. Um, most frequent question I get asked is where do you get your bento boxes? Um, Amazon.com. Go there. There's tons of them on Prime. The brand I like the best is Kotobuki is the brand. They should say on the page if they're microwave and dishwasher safe. I stopped using mine in the microwave and in the dishwasher and I noticed them last infinitely longer. I have been using this box every day, uh, five days a week for over a year and I hand wash it and I never put it in the microwave. It's beautiful, it's sturdy. Um, my other ones that I have been a little harder on have had cracks in them and they just end up having to throw them away. So my best advice is hand wash them with hot water and soap and uh, they'll, they should last forever. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, questions, comments, leave them below, ideas, let me know. Um, oh, and I get a lot of comments for ones asking for kid-friendly stuff. Um, I don't have kids, but I have a really great idea for one. I just, I already did my grocery shopping for the week, so it'll have to wait for till next week, um, and I will try to get on that. So, thanks for watching. Bye.